Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the stream. Uh, and this will most likely be the finale for Resident Evil Zero, because I have with me a guest star. And his name is Cheat Engine. <laughs> so, uh... Okay, let's turn the uh, music off. So, last time we played more Resident Evil Zero and we made zero, how very appropriate, progress. Uh, we were stuck at the first phase of what we now know is the final boss because we simply don't have the resources. We don't have the bullets, we don't have the health. And this is the second time now that the game has let me save in an impossible situation without, like, intentionally wasting any bullets. Uh, thereby basically invalidating all the progress I've made. So, <laughs> I have decided that I would like to move on to Resident Evil 2 sometime within the next century, so I am going to cheat. I've played through this entire game fair and square, redone entire segments, but, uh, well, my patience is at its end. We are going to uh, do this final segment with a few dirty tricks. So, first things first, I think I might try it with only infinite ammo and not infinite health. First time, just to see how that goes. But I am, uh, frankly, well, this game has m many qualities that I respect. I am pretty tired of it. Uh, it's lasted for several more streams than its predecessor right now, and in not really deservingly so. Okay, let's turn on infinite ammo. Let's see if that actually works. It certainly does. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so we're gonna give it a quick shot just to see how it'll go with only infinite ammo. And if that doesn't work after one or two tries and I get even sicker of it than I already am. I'll probably just turn on infinite health too. Because, like I said, this game has great visuals, it has a pretty compelling story, some really beautiful set pieces, and not all the segments were bad. I liked some of the puzzles, I liked some of the areas, but... The game is so generous with ink ribbons, and yet so uh, stingy with ever everything else, that you can so easily save yourself in these positions. Because I don't think there was a boss anywhere in Resident Evil 1 that takes this much punishment. Like, it's just weird to have people look at my current inventory. Of which, it's pretty full of bullets. And say, oh yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Because one... This is the first phase of the final boss, and two, he has another phase, and you won't even get through that. And two, he has another phase as well. So, uh, yeah. I don't really have anything prepared for uh, if we end this game so early that there's, you know, room for more in this stream. So maybe we'll just keep it really short. I'll, uh, I'll think about it. I could just boot some random thing on Steam up while we chat about this uh, game in retrospect. But let's not think too far ahead, let's just get through it first. But yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna run into the same issue. He's gonna do a very long range whip attack or charge. Rebecca is gonna get hit. She'll die instantly. And it won't be, uh, it won't be very fun. So, like I said, I'm gonna give it maybe one or two tries with just the infinite ammo. Just to see what would happen if we did have the proper resources. At least in terms of weapons. But, uh... Yeah, like I said, I do have, uh, I have pretty much no more patience left. <clears throat> So little patience, in fact, that my throat is already imploding right now. Great. 
The wind, the near winter weather seems to be murder on my voice. I've been having a bit more trouble keeping up the the flow of talking in streams lately. Anyway, so we're gonna go in here and see what happens, but. Alright, we got the cutscene with Queen Leechman. Can you come with me please, Billy? Can you come now, please? Okay, thank you. Man, the switching camera can really mess you up here. So, interestingly, I never noticed this because we had so little chance to use it, but the uh, Magnum actually does make the leech stagger. No! no. Come on! I do like the uh, endless, endless guns here. Wow, the range though. Nope. Okay, there we go. <laughs> infinite ammo, yo. I didn't even need the infinite health. You see? If I just had endless bullets and could spam them like crazy, I would have won. <laughs> Of course. This kind of validates my strategy of letting Billy, you know, mostly take the brunt of the attacks while we, uh... While we kept a distance and fired at him. Um, which one of these is the key? Anyway, man! <laughs> it sure is easy to beat a boss when you can just spam your attacks. Ah, uh, I know what they want me to do. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we need to switch places, sorry. Okay, so we use the key, we switch, and we use the key. Okay, very ominous. There are more ink ribbons here. And more bullets. Not yet. Alright, so that sends us up somewhere. We should probably go get the gun where we left behind first, though. Unless they spawned enemies in this room, in which case I will be upset. <laughs> but hey! Infinite ammo! How nice. <laughs> you know, it's been... It must have been years since I've used an actual cheat code on anything. You 
You know, it's often it's a bit of a matter of pride, I guess, to not do so. But... Sometimes anger overcomes pride. Okay, you can hold both of the handguns, Billy, that's fine. But you can already tell what's, uh, what the situation is here. Now we're at the final boss. And we're both uh, in danger. So what are our chances of winning that? Hmm. Well. Not that bad, actually. <laughs> considering the resources in this room. It's act actually not as bad as I thought. Here I was thinking, oh, they're not gonna... They're just gonna let us go into this in while we're in danger, but... Okay, I will need to do some more inventory uh, shenanigans, but... Alright then. Let's get both our characters back into uh, good shape. Right, we have one more spot <laughs> now that we fixed that. Hmm. What should we fill our pockets with at this point? I mean, if this is the final save point, we might as well just leave the ink ribbons here after we're done. I'll save in a minute, by the way, no worries. <laughs> Just uh, want to get some things arranged here. I might actually turn the infinite ammo off for the first uh, attempt of the final, final boss. I do want to honor the game to the degree that I at least give a fair try to the actual final boss. At least one or two, you know. I may be out of patience, but I do have some honor left. Let's just make sure there's nothing else to be... No, I think as soon as we step on there, we might be uh, getting sent up. Looks like no matter what we do, we may have to leave something behind. Either the bullets or the... Uh... <laughs> Once again, sorry for all the messing in the menus. I could have just turned on infinite health kept infinite ammo on and uh, <laughs> left all the way to the bank but well like I said I do want to give it one fair shake see if this final final battle is different all right and we'll hand Billy the Molotovs then I suppose. Or the bullets. Either way, we'll grab the ink ribbon first to save now that we've done all this. Okay, let me just turn infinite ammo off. Okay, there we go. No more infinite ammo. Man, wow. <laughs> Did it in one shot, at least. It got pretty scary with how little health uh, Billy had left, but I generally, I think, did a pretty good job avoiding, uh, avoiding it. 
to be fair, uh, the Magnum does stagger it. So it wasn't really a fair match, but then again, it wasn't a fair match before I turned on the cheat either, except the other way around. So, if it's gonna be unfair, it might as well be unfair in my favor, right? <laughs> right, so this is all the weaponry we have. I wonder if four Molotovs or 15 handgun bullets are better. This is a quite a bit of good stuff, at least. Alright, let's just give this a good old honest try. Since we're here anyway. Now that we're no longer cheating, I'm gonna quickly change the title. And just say... Finale. There we go. No cheats here, no, no siree. Fair, the most non-cheating session we've done so far. As far as you know, anyway. Okay, let's escape. You know, the metal what? scraping sounded a bit like chanting at queen. times. Oh. It sure is the queen. So is this going to be a timed battle then? Uh oh. Okay, this is a pretty cool section at least. Shit. <laughs> yes, Billy, very, very appropriate, yes. That is the biggest leech I have ever seen. Okay, so this is the battle on the rooftop. Like it, like it also occurs in uh, Resi 1. Alright, let's just <clears throat> let's just pepper it with attacks. It can hit with its tail as well, that's a bit of a problem. So did the queen activate the self-destruct? Why? I wonder if it's vulnerable to fire at all. I mean, this is ultimately how we defeated the leechmen before. Did we do it? Don't tell me that was it. Well, hey, we did it with the resources we had. Although, we did cheat a bit during the last phase. If Oh. Phase three. Follow me. You work on the windows. Got it. I'll use my charm to distract your majesty. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so we're just Billy now. Oh. Great. New mechanics at the very end. To open the heliport in case of emergency, follow the procedures below. Removing the lock. There are four locking mechanisms in the room which must be activated in this order. Southwest, northwest, southeast, west. Turn each of the mechanism's handles to unlock the gate. Southwest, northwest, southeast, west. Southwest, northwest, southeast. I'm gonna have to re recons. Actually, maybe I should just take a note of this. One second. 
Just gonna jot this down real quick. Right. So for all the nonsense, this is basically... Bottom left, top left, bottom right, left. <laughs> Trying to switch. Try that again later. Wow, let me make a screenshot of the game saying try that again later. Probably should. Oh. Okay. Resident Evil Zero. Uh, we took way too many hits during the first phase, though. So I'm actually confident we might be able to do this. <laughs> Maybe. But as soon as it gets more frustrating, we'll just uh, start cheating again. Ha ha. But this is actually, it feels a lot more fair now that we're both healed up. Like, Rebecca can actually take a fair few hits. Anyway, I have decided that distance is of the essence and that thus we will be taking... More ink ribbons, no, the bullets. I think 15 bullets is better than 4 molotovs. Probably. Oh, let's see. How did we... We handed this to her. We could have healed her, actually. But as soon as she starts turning the wheel... It's no longer possible. So, at that point, we need to have her as healed up as possible. Problem is, how do you distract the queen from her? Because it just seemed to be attacking her. Do you, like, do you just run away as quickly as possible and start firing at it so it turns around? I guess that could have worked, but we just didn't have much health left. Anyway, let's just give this another shot. There's nothing to be frustrated, uh, frustrated about here yet. Whoop, better not be taking so many hits. So we have the resources to take it down, that's the point here. Yeah, go, go for Billy, go for Billy, good idea. Yes, I completely agree. Ow. Rebecca, keep your distance. She's already in orange costume. She really can't take many hits, can she? Okay, I want to make her use the herbs right now. One second. Okay, there we go. Okay, phase number two. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm just trying to lure it after me. I'm trying to figure out how this segment works, because the way I was thinking about it is we have to run to those parts, but it looks like Rebecca is already turning the wheel in the bottom left, so we need to just distract the queen. Because we can't actually activate...
Wait a minute, did I just do that correctly accidentally? That I don't think that's correct, but Yeah, if you damage it enough, it'll come after you. Can we pass it by, please? Well, we're both in danger now. Um... Um, where is the one on, on the west side, exactly? No, 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 don't get so close. Because we've already done this one, right? No, 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 don't attack her. Come on. We have no more bullets left. Um, wait a second. Can we... Okay, is this the last one? Let me see. I believe so, yeah. So we just need to keep it distracted. No, 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 not there. Not there. Nope. Okay. Uh, we almost got there, though. Resident Evil Zero. You want to? You want to know something crazy? <laughs> this is a fun final battle. <laughs> When you're not getting stonewalled by your ridiculous lack of resources, this is still a really good game. I do have to say that. After, after all that nonsense that happened last stream, still a good game. Still a good game. Just don't play it on hard if you're gonna play it. <laughs> Save yourself the trouble. Just do it on normal or easy. Enjoy the atmosphere. But that actually went pretty well. She uh, turned three of them uh, and was working on the fourth. If, like, if she had finished turning that one, the, I think the roof would have opened and killed it. Uh, the problem is we ran out of bullets. Maybe I was too aggressive in how I used them. Maybe I've just used up too many resources. One thing we should be doing, probably, is making sure Billy has other weapons on him. The problem is how much... We should do some switching around, but... Well, we'll, we'll think about it more later. <laughs> Let's give it another good old try, because I actually don't mind this battle too much. Okay, let's try to get around it, okay? 
No. Yes. Now you need to damage it real good to distract it. The problem is, I think, Rebecca is carrying the, uh, the Magnum, which means she, he turns around on her almost immediately if she gets a hit. Okay, and a good thing we have an extra heal left, too. Can we still switch things around with her when she's starting to turn the wheel thing? I've concluded that we should probably play as Rebecca for this part. Just because she needs, she's the one who needs to preserve energy the most. Like, I can control Billy after this and let him... Uh, Okay, so when this part happens, can we still switch? We can exchange, yes. Okay, that's good, because we'll be able to give Billy some more weapons to work with. And she's still fine, that's important. Right now, it's not about damage, it's about the amount of s shots, I think. So we're gonna give Rebecca the grenade launcher and we're gonna equip ourselves with this I think this will be the fastest way to distract the queen the shotgun so let's do that Whoa. yes that's right you don't want her you want me come on I almost called her a bad word <laughs> Nope. Come on. Try to attack me. How's Rebecca doing? Um, not good. She's taking hits, even though I didn't see it. Okay, no more, uh... No more shotgun. There we go. Hey Clive, welcome to the stream. So, um, to get through the first phase I used infinite ammo, but not infinite health, still made it through. And I am now doing the final boss legit. Because the final room gave us two first aid sprays. So I think it's only fair that we try it fair and square. This is like the third attempt, but it's actually going pretty well. Uh, that is, we're making actual progress. Basically, we discovered that the Leech Queen can't stand sunlight. So now Billy needs to distract the Leech Queen while uh, Rebecca tries to uh, turn all the valves to open the roof. The problem is, she sure likes going after Rebecca. No, this is no time to reload. Okay, that's another valve turned. Nope. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Don't focus on her, please. Okay, only 15 bullets left. We only have 15 bullets left. It'll have to ma make. It'll have to. Uh, it'll have to be enough. If Rebecca is on the west side now, she is. She's turning the final valve. Ugh.
Okay, was that it? It's I think I think we just won. I think we might have just actually won. Oh, it's not over? Hey, Queenie! Or it is, okay. Feast on this! <laughs> that one liner though. Feast on this. Ow. So it can be hurt in the sunlight, right? Oh, right. The whole blowing up thing in the mansion. I almost forgot about that. He throws away the, uh, the handcuffs. Nice. Hey. That must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. Oh wait, so that can't have been the same mansion. I guess it's time to say goodbye. She's going to the mansion and then Resident Evil 1 happens and uh, Billy goes who knows where. Officially. Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. <laughs> Which means he's free. There we go. Thumbs up. All right, and there you have it. You got here just in time. Yes, you did. <laughs> but hey, so we uh, we did have to cheat a bit to get through that first phase, but we did the other two phases 100% legit. Unless you consider the fact that I kept my resources due to the unlimited ammo uh, cheat I used. If you consider that to be not legit, <laughs> then I guess it wasn't legit, but I turned off all the cheats to do the two phases of the boss battle. We basically just skipped over the first phase without losing anything. Well, without losing any ammo. We did lose health. And I did uh, use up the uh, the first eight sprays, so... It's at, it's at least 50% legit, am I right? <laughs> anyway, whoa. This game... I very rarely had a stream where a game was so uh, at, had such high point. I'm already hovering my mouse over the uninstall uh, button. Yes. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna just, just gonna slap this game under uh, under my finished category and removing it from playing now. There we go. Yeah, this game, 
really a mixed experience uh, for me. I actually liked many parts of it. It was very beautiful. Um, it was a bit more linear than its... Uh, I want to say predecessor, but it is kind of a prequel. But you know what I mean. It's more linear than Resident Evil 1. Things feel less connected. In Resident Evil 1, you have this mansion in the middle with all this stuff around and under it. But the mansion is this nice, stable central point. There wasn't really a nice, stable central point here. You got on the train, you got off the train and never back. Then the training facility... Uh, then the lab. Then kind of to the factory, but also there was a secret, sneaky way back to the training facility. So it was kind of interconnected, but kind of not. And I think that's one reason why, along with the increased amount of ink ribbons, with no other resources increased, is how you could so easily save yourself into a corner. Like, I, you, you've, uh, you've watched me play Resident Evil 1. Oh hey, thank you for the subscription, uh, Clive. It's very much appreciated. Have to see the little waving animation. I should probably make a new one at some point. Also, 10 months. Thank you very much. It's really very much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, no, at no point in Resident Evil 1 was there a save where I thought, I have to go back. This uh, this can't happen. There were times when I was too, too uh, frugal or too uh, quick to save with the ink ribbons. Which led to some harder sections, but there was never a part that felt like a straight-up stone wall. And one part of that is also that the bosses... Always, you ha always either had a person with you during the bosses, or the bosses just didn't take that many hits. And then you suddenly had the leech man who took like... 20 plus uh, grenade shells and 20 plus... Uh, well, I, do, I don't really know how many it were. I'm not going to pretend I kept count, but we just unloaded our weapons on the leech to get through there. So yeah, many, many reasons, many ways this game stonewalled me. Two times very badly. But the rest of it was still a worthwhile Resident Evil experience with fun puzzles, beautiful areas. And the concept of having these two interacting characters is actually not bad at all. Of course, in effect, it often had you messing around in the menus. And I could have done more. You know, the final boss was basically just, okay, the AI is just gonna control Rebecca now, good luck. Messing around with, uh, with Billy and keeping the queen distracted. Like, the, the final battle didn't even really use the interaction between the two characters. Rather, it switched the game to single player. Basically, a, a single player escort mission. And this happened on a few occasions. Which is a shame, because there were... I really enjoyed the lab area and how you were on two separate floors of that. I thought the area was really great. We got through it in one stream. It was just great fun. Alright. Rank C. Yes, that's about what I'd give this game, so right back at you. <laughs> Leech Hunter. <laughs> Wesker mode. To be fair, we actually, we only saw glimpses of Wesker, didn't we? Like, we saw him in a few cutscenes and he was like, Time to die at the old man. Alright, well, like I said, game with many flaws, but still many virtues as well. I do not need to see the leech again. <laughs> you can now play a different game. <laughs> yes, thankfully. Resident Evil Zero. We did have to hear that one more time. If I load into the, the, the clear save, do I just start at the beginning again? Let's see what the extras are for a bit. Okay, Wesker mode, what is that? <laughs> now you can play as Wesker. 
<laughs> Shadow dash. Hold B and release to perform a forward dash. While aiming, hold X to, re to release... While aiming, hold X and release to perform a long distance attack. Okay, I'm just gonna look at what this is. We're not gonna... A Midwestern town this is the same America, intro as always, Raccoon isn't it? City, a solitary island far off in the sea. Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City. Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? Okay, we get it. We get it. So I'm gonna play as Wesker for a few minutes and then I'll do... Uh, I've already pretty much gotten my thoughts out. Um, you okay there? You okay there, uh, Re Rebecca? You look a little, uh... How do I say this? You, do you look a little evil? So I'm evil, Rebecca, now. Okay. Can I not... I'm guessing that... I'm guessing that uh, Wesker replaces Billy, then. I was wondering how they were gonna do the two-character thing. I figured it would be like an abridged version of the campaign. Where you only have uh, one character, so all the two-character stuff. This is Chambers from Star's Bravo team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? Uh, we don't really need to see this again, do we? Alright, let's just get to the point where we can also play as Wesker because I want to see his wacky super attacks that he can apparently do by holding B. Man, do you it's been so long since we've been in the train, hasn't it? <laughs> One of the coolest settings for a, a, a post-apocalyptic situation too, but... Yeah, I'm just uh, just going on until we find Wesker so we can punch a zombie in the face with our Wesker powers. Oh yeah, I should say um, I have I have actually uh, bought Resident Evil 2. It was on sale for this uh, for the for the autumn sale on Steam, so we should be able to get right started on that probably next week tuesday because this is a uh, a somewhat busy week i can't guarantee a stream for tomorrow but uh on tuesday next week we'll be starting on resident evil 2 for sure the very new version of it that is but what what's with the red eyes it's it's kind of cool looking but All right, and now we queue in the Billy, or the Wesker in this case. Is this scene any different? Billy, Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. <laughs> Been fantasizing about me, have you? This is weird. So the, the cutscene is literally exactly the same, inside. including the voices and dialogue, but he just looks like Wesker. 
You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already won. Okay, so that's very strange. Right? <laughs> I can't get over... What is she... What is the red thing on her chest? The red... It looks kind of like a... A jewel... A shield? You know, you know you're dealing uh, with evil when you have the red-black combo. That is the most evil color combination. It's the same combination of colors Nod uses in the Command and Conquer Tiberium games. I guess we'll make a save, though I'm just looking for uh, quote unquote Billy. Oh hey, it's purple. <laughs> but what if it was purple? So... Well, Ow! great start. Okay, that wasn't so hard. Wow. This must be a different difficulty, right? And the, the resources are way better. They're giving us way more stuff. This is Rebecca. Over right, so those cutscenes are all the same, so I feel comfortable just skipping over them. This is so strange. Yeah, like you can... You can just swap in a different character model, but keep every everything else the same. It's kind of weird. I mean, they didn't have to add this, so I guess it's cool, but... Alright, now the leech man attacks Rebecca for the first time. And it grabs Rebecca, and then Billy comes to the rescue, because of course he does. Or do we just go back like this? Yeah. Oh, he he is Billy in the pre-rendered cutscenes, of course. Who is that guy? Look at these red eyes. It's ridiculous. I love it. Just look look at the two of them. I wonder if they're the good guys. <laughs> okay, so he can... <laughs> what? 
What is this? Look at that. Look at that. What am I even supposed to think about that? Okay, that's one of the things he can do, right? But what else? He's supposed to have another attack, but... I can only find this one. What about his punch or whatever it was? I can't really seem to find the other uh, attack he has. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to see, is how they uh, handled the the Billy and Rebecca situation. See ya. <laughs> and see ya. Oh, okay, he can still get bitten. All right. <laughs> I don't need this. Roger. Come. Roger. I don't need this. Okay. Come. Okay. Ah, okay. So, <laughs> it's a good thing that I'm finding this out at the very uh, end. In fact, after the end, but select is a toggle for f setting the the teammate to follow or not follow. Stay there. Roger. Come. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting, and I wish I had known that before. It's not a big deal, though. It would have saved a couple of minutes, but... Anyway, that's a cool mode, but we're not gonna do all of that. At least, not this time. Maybe someday, but I think I wanna take a long vacation from Resident Evil Zero. So, this has been a shorter stream, and I was actually considering doing something else on Steam. But maybe it's good to just leave it at this and pick Resident Evil up next week because I don't really know what we would uh, stream if not this <laughs> plus like I said it's a pretty busy week so maybe I'll just take the rest of the night and uh, we'll keep the stream short maybe that makes sense after having a three hour stream with no progress we have a one hour stream with all the progress <laughs> that makes sense right so, we're gonna be stopping here, and next week on Tuesday, I will be playing uh, Resident Evil 2, the new one. I hope my computer can handle it, and if not, we'll have to turn down the settings and cry a little bit. And after that, the only real roadblock is... Uh, yeah, let's, let me close down the game so you don't have to hear the ambient noise. <laughs> So, I have Resident Evil 4 and 5, and I have Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2. So, in principle, we actually have a lot of Resident Evil games left to do. But I am missing number 3, which is getting a remake at some point, I've been told, but not yet. So, uh, we could play that on my legitimate PlayStation software, wink wink, nudge nudge. We could skip over it and play 4. Until the remake comes out at least. So we'll have to think about that for a little bit. 
But hey, we have two to do first, so let's not think too far ahead, like I said earlier in, earlier in the stream. So thanks to everyone who stopped by this shorter stream. Um, it's a shame I had to cheat a little bit, but you saw me defeat the final boss, the actual final final boss, legitimately, both faces. So I feel like I did it at least somewhat legitimately. But if you disagree, that's fine. Either way, we are done with Resident Evil Zero. So, uh, join me next time for Resident Evil 2, but until then, have a good day or night. Bye-bye!